I've never seen the movie. I've never seen a Christmas story all the way through. Shoot me. Good morning. I am already awake editing videos and I had every intention of coming to my office and hitting the ground running and then my Facebook page popped up and then we have the Red Table Talks by Jada Pinkett Smith like and now there's 25 minutes of my life gone like I cannot not watch this if it's on. So now I gotta watch this and then I'm gonna be editing and then I gotta get ready and get the dogs up. Today's Sunday, meal prep. parking lot at Meyer. about to go in do some shopping just left the gym had an awesome workout you saw I got them squats in got them push-ups in like my goal for the end of December is to not absolutely hate my push-up form like my goodness it's terrible so hey old people how you doing hey pops um so I'm gonna keep working on that but like I'm getting super low in my squats feeling leg muscles i didn't even know i had so like today for meal prep i am kind of just going back to basics i'm having salmon and green beans with butter like it's just been so good and i'm not trying to deviate plus the green beans are really easy in the microwave uh and then for my first meal i really don't have a taste for anything in particular so what i've decided i want to do is like make a snack plate i'll have a couple of ounces of deli meat maybe like a cheese stick some almonds some pepperoni some pickles i mean just basically little one serving options of different foods that i want to have so really that means all i have to meal prep is the salmon i already had salmon at home and i took it out of the freezer so it is defrosting now today i am going to the theater to see a christmas story so i'm really excited about that and i'm really excited about vlogmas hopefully you guys have watched my december 1st video i'm gonna put it right there um i'm working really hard <laughs> i laugh because like it's just a lot of effort but like i love doing it like i want to so every time i tell you guys that i'm really gonna post i am also telling myself like i'm really gonna post like do it autumn i know you can so i am having fun i am on day two woo and uh that is all that's going on for right now so i'm gonna head in gonna get my stuff and then we are going to meal prep let go a Christmas story don't really know what it's about to be 100% honest don't really have high hopes for it like it's there's no music in the movie is there like but this is a musical right yeah so like I have no idea but we bought season tickets and so we're gonna go see all the shows that are included so we are on our way to the theater then I will be home to do meal prep
Okay guys, I am done with meal prep, which was basically just making salmon and it looks delicious and so I wanna show it to you. Okay, first of all, we have this salmon, which looks absolutely amazing. I like my salmon a little crispy, so I just let it cook in some butter and brown up and that's awesome. If you remember from this morning, I wanted to get green beans, but the store was literally sold out, so I got some rice cauliflower instead. I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave, pour some butter in there, and then I might put a little sweetener, uh, but if not, butter will be perfect, and this will be my meal too, and it's amazing. For my meal one, you see I just have a hodgepodge of like random stuff here. I got some cheese sticks, pickles, pepperonis, I got some Atkins bars. I got some almonds. I got these dill pickle almonds from Whole Foods. These are great. Got some regular salted almonds. Got some mayo here. And then I got some deli lunch meat. I don't think I showed this in the store today, but I had them cut up some lunch meat. I think one has two grams of carbs per serving. One has like a half a gram. Kind of just choose whatever I'm feeling for the day. Overall, today was a great day. You guys, A Christmas Story, the musical, is amazing. Like. I had no expectations whatsoever and we thoroughly enjoyed that show. Like, would go see it again if given the opportunity, enjoyed that show. It was great. The children were so talented. Like, I just love that about musical theater. I mean, just oh, the talent and the commitment. Uh, either way, it was so great. So I'm just gonna sit on the couch and watch TV for a bit. Hey guys, it's almost time for me to go to bed. But before I do, every other Sunday, right before I go to sleep, I gotta take my medicine. You might have heard of it. It's called Humira. So in case you haven't been watching when I mentioned this before, I have Crohn's disease, which is an autoimmune inflammatory bowel disease. So basically my immune system is attacking my intestine. And so this causes my intestine to inflame and scar. Uh, and so I was actually diagnosed in February, 2015. I spent a week in the hospital and the funny thing is up until that point, I had had no symptoms whatsoever. And really the only reason that I even went to the doctors because I had this sharp pain in my abdomen that I thought came from working out in the gym too much. I was like, oh my God, maybe I pulled an ab muscle in my insanity class and it persisted for about a week. And so my mother was like, uh-uh, we don't play that, go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor to have a CT scan and they made me stay there for the results. They like ordered them stat. And so when they got the results, they actually called my doctor on the phone who then they handed the phone to me. And my doctor was like, you need to go to the hospital right now. And I was just like, whoa, wait a minute. I only have like a, a small ab pain. What are you talking about? She goes, no, your intestines are a mess. You're about a centimeter away from like a perforation. You need to go to the hospital for intravenous uh, antibiotics. Go, go straight there. So I called my mom, I was freaking out. Like she says I need to go to the hospital. I don't know what to do. So like I ended up going home. I packed a backpack like I was going to camp. I was like, how long am I gonna be in the hospital? Like overnight? She goes, no, 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 you're gonna be in the hospital for like days. And I was like, but I feel fine. It's just like an ab muscle. And she was like, go to the hospital. So I came home, packed a bag, made arrangements for my puppies. Uh, and then my mom drove me to the hospital like I was going to a sleepover. <laughs> and so basically I stayed in the hospital for five days while they gave me intravenous antibiotics and anti-inflammatories to get my bowel uh, to not be so inflamed. I had a colonoscopy all that stuff and then finally they let me out of the hospital and they were like you have Crohn's disease and now you have a gastroenterologist that you have to go to every six months and now there's a medicine you have to take so so the medicine looks like a little pen so it's an injectable so i have to take off the tops in the order that they appear on the pen and then i have to inject myself in the stomach funny story the first time i did this i fainted that's a different story <laughs> but i have been saving uh, the caps so I put the pin in a sharps container and I've been saving the caps every time I've had to take it so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these but you know one day I'll figure out some sort of artistic installation that's a commentary on like the pharmaceutical industry or something like that you know but for now I just save the caps and I discard the pin in a sharps container I have sharps containers so now I'm just gonna take my medicine and I'm gonna go to sleep 
This was super fun. Vlogmas is epic. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, watch Autumn Keto. Oh, also I wanted to know, do you know anyone with Crohn's disease? Do you have Crohn's disease? I mean, pretty much when I tell someone I have it, they're like, oh, I know someone that has it. Like it's, it's crazy how you never think about something until it personally affects you. I know, right? So comment below, let me know if you know anyone with Crohn's disease, how they're doing, if you have it. Uh, it really hasn't affected my life too much up to this point, uh, but I do, you know, take my medicine regularly and that's just my life now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins, and I'm also doing Vlogmas, so I will see you tomorrow.